And now we're doing the installation of the new Gigabyte Z87X UD3H. Lego. Alright, so we got all that we need here. We got that um, back plates. Trusty screwdriver over there. Phillips head, by the way. That's what you need. Motherboard itself, of course. Um, and the case. Badge. Oh, yeah, I'll put that on. I want to do the. I wanna... Cables, but we won't need this right now. Um, yeah, we won't need these right now. So let me just. But we will need them side. soon or later in life. Well, yeah, like... when, you, when you're installing like, your hard drives and whatnot. Okay. So, right, 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 right now. This is what we need. The back plate, the badge. Okay, we don't need the badge, but yeah. And uh, the motherboard itself. So, um, great stuff that we already have a power supply inside there. I've done the video for that, just in case you found the video is uh, in the description. Yeah, video for this in the description. So, uh, yeah, of Charles installing his uh, power supply. So, great stuff that's already in there. So. I don't have to worry too much about static, I can just keep my hand or something, keep contact with some metal metallic part. Although I do not have real like real big problems with um static. So roll my sleeves up and let's get to business. Um well, well before don't we need to put the case flat or you're just gonna I can do it like that. Seriously? Yeah. I think for a better angle we should put it flat, you reckon? Yeah. Alright, so real quick we're just gonna install this back plate over here. You can already see it's got that um hose for the water cooling system. Which I don't know if Charles is into. Um, a lot of people don't use it. My computer has the same thing. Yeah. And I do have water cooling, but if you don't use those holes, I've got like many holes. I got like so one, how, two, what does that five, 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 to? What so does it go to? This is usually when you have like um, you want your pipes going off to an external sort of um, oh, okay. um, reservoir or something, or maybe oh, okay, you want okay. them looking pretty. You know, there's this case I saw on YouTube. Uh, this guy had his reservoir standing on top of here, mm. so he probably had like cables like Go from there, there or to the top. Yeah, so yeah. Right. So maybe you can even have like your water cooling over here. You can just you know you got holes for it. Mm. You put it over there. And it's really not advisable. I would not advise it. But yeah, to keep your water in there. Exactly. Yeah. Wait, before we put that, is that the right way? Because you know we should. Come on, man. <laughs> I can't see from up here, so Maybe the way the way I think like, you should I'm do it. To give the I'm All right, yeah. let's say, let's... All right, so I'm just going to quickly talk about something what Charles just quickly addressed. For me, I think it was obvious, but it, um, it's not obviously obvious for other for other folks. So people don't usually know what how it goes in if it's that way or that way. Um, basically, the sound stuff right here, the sound connections, and the PS the PS2, those should be. Are usually on separate um, directions, so the sound is usually down there. If you own another PC and you've connected the sound once before, you've connected your speakers, you'd know that they usually connect at the bottom there, and then your mice and your keyboard connect up here. So that's how it goes on. Uh, make sure it goes on properly, and then when you got it in position, which I don't quite yet, but now I do, give it a nice nudge for it to pop in. Um, that click just confirms to you that yes, I am in. Although on top here it hasn't clicked yet. Click over there. Click over there. And that is now solid. It ain't going nowhere. It ain't going nowhere. Cut. Alright, let's put the keys down. Alright, so let's go into installing the motherboard. But right before we do that, we need to install the standoffs. So, what kind of motherboard we got here? We got uh, an ATX motherboard, so that means we need um, standoffs at these, that point, that point, and um, that point, right there. This is a fairly large motherboard. It's not extra large, but it is big, so we need standoffs at uh, nice positions for it, and we need some here, over here too. So, give me a second, let me just fetch the screws and everything else that's needed for this. But as we said, yeah, we might be just putting um right to standoffs. Standoffs. Alright, let me just put him in position first. That's gonna be there. That's gonna be there. That's gonna be there. That's gonna be there. And how handy the last one. That's gonna be there. Alright, we'll see you when we've screwed them in. Let's go back to the manual to see what screw we have to use. Because we are work in progress, but yeah, we've got our screws ready to go. 
I think we've kind of found them. But yeah, we'll see them side. I see. This is a very important thing when you're doing it. when you're installing screws onto a standoff, and even when you're installing the standoff itself into the uh, into the case. Um, when you're installing, any time you're doing with screws, be it on a metallic base or in a wooden base, especially on a wooden base, it's very important. But um, yeah, it's in equally important everywhere. What you want to do first is um, turn it anti-clockwise first, not in, not inside the way it should go in, not screw it in, but screw it like you're trying to take it out. Just take it around till you hear a click or you feel that positive click like I just did. But I'll just give it another go to see if you guys can hear it. like that when you hear that click that tells you it's now set in position and you can now easily just screw it in whoops unlike what i just did <laughs> so i'll just do that again wow how does that look on the internet it's not setting in properly what this helps to do is um you won't get any cross threading. Cross threading is when I think it's set in, so yeah, now I can put it in. It goes in easy when you've done that, which is a good thing, and it avoids cross threading. And I was explaining that cross threading is when you have you have your threads of the of the screw, and you have sort of not used those threads in the way that you're supposed to um they have okay clicked there so i can take it in i won't tie it too tight because i need that screw to come out um if i just unscrew that i hope it's just the screw that's coming up yep Yep, standoff installed. Same thing here. Alright, uh, repeat the same things, but guys, we'll be back shortly. So at least you know, yeah, you've seen the first one, so we'll just do the rest. How many more? Is it eight in total or six? Um, the case came with four installed, so we needed to do one, two, three, four, five. Five more. Okay. See ya. Done, Matt. Alright, we just quickly uh, installed the standoffs. We already had four installed, so we did the f extra five. So that's done. We have Frank here, who's going to bring the motherboard to us. There she comes. It's like a marriage, man. There she comes. Holy chin, ready. Holy. All right. Holy metro, man. I'll just take this whole box and place it over here. Thank you, Frank. So it can be close. <laughs> Thank you very much, Frank, for your services. I'll give you a tip later. And uh, yeah, this is it. Let's go, guys. We should have like a, a sort of background type of music. I probably will put that in the edit. <laughs> How are we looking already? Is it? Yes, he does it. It's a snug fit. Mm. It's really a snug fit over here. Whoops. Actually, that wasn't really a whoops. I did that on purpose. It's like... Do you need some hands, Frank? Do you want to pause it? Oh, you good? No, it's alright. Sure. I got this. So you want to place it according to the holes on the... These, there's these things here? Or... Yeah, you want to place it according to that and this. Oh, so you have to... Oh, okay, yeah, true. So, yeah. To the holes on, the, on your standoffs. And also the holes at the back of your back you need the back plate so I probably should have done taking these off first because it's not gonna let me go through with them so that was a new move so we take it off so I'm gonna take that off and take them off first 